Hello, I'm Brian Ord, and I'm going to be reading a poem by Robert Penn Warren titled Flaubert in Egypt. Flaubert in Egypt, or Dorothea Tanning. Winter long, off La Manche, wind leaning, gray stones of the gray city sluiced by gray rain. And he dreamed of desert and distance, sunlight like murder, lust, and new colors whose names exploded the spectrum like dynamite or cancer. So he went there, who did not know what he was or could be, though hoping he might find there his fate, found what he found, with head shaven, one lock at the occiput left. Red tarbouche wind flaunted, rode hard at the sphinx, at the father of terrors, which, in that perspective and distance, lifted slow from the desert like a great ship from hull down. At its height it swung. His cry burst forth. In the whitewashed room, by the light of wicks in three oil glasses, and to the merciless squeak of the rebeck, with musicians blindfolded, the dancer, her breasts cruelly bound to bulge upward and bare above pink trousers, flesh rippling in bronze, danced the dance which he recalls from the oldest Greek vases, the leap on one foot with the free foot crossed over, the fingers a quiver, face calm, and slow centuries sifting like shadow. Light flickers on whitewash. He finds the mons venerous shaven, arse noble. That night three coups and once performs cunnilingus. Fingers clutching her necklace he lies. He remembers his boyhood. Her fingers and naked thighs twitch in sleep. By day, on the minaret top, the stork clacked its beak. At the edge of the carrion field, the wild dog, snout blue from old blood, skulked, and camel bells in the distance. On the voyage down Nile, on the slave boat, old women, black and slaves too, who had seen all of life, tried to persuade the young girls, market-bound, to smile. But once, on the height of Gebel Abusir, looking down on the cataract, where the Nile flung itself to white froth on black granite, he cried out, Eureka, the name, it is Emma, and he added, Bovary, pronouncing the O, as recorded by his companion, quite short. So home, and left Egypt, which was palms black, sky red, and the river like molten steel, and the child's hand plucking his sleeve, Bakshish, and I'll get you my mother to fuck. And the bath boy he buggered, this in a clinical spirit and as a tribute to the host country. And the shanker, of course, bright as a jewel on his member and borne home like a trophy. But not to be omitted, on the river at Thebes, having long stared at the indigo mountains of sunset, he let eyes fix on the motion of three wave crests that, in unison, bowed beneath the wind, and his heart burst with a solemn thanksgiving to God for the fact he could perceive the worth of the world with such joy. Years later, death near, he remembered the palm fronds. How black against a bright sky!